as regards safety in a boat, of course, the first thing is to have your life jacket before you step into a boat, have your life jacket, crotch strap attached. It's a very simple little thing. All it does is literally go around your crotch and it just stops it from coming up over your head. One other big thing, you must, must service them once a year by a recognized, trained technician. Just as regards a few things to bring with you, um, simple little bucket for bailing the boat out. Um, it can fill with water even if it's not raining. As you move from one part of the lake to another part, water will come in over the sides. So it's essential to have something that you can bail the, the boat with. Another thing then would be just a simple little first aid kit. You'd be surprised, get a few nicks, whatever. It's always good to have. Then we have a, a set of flares here. These are very, very handy. Should you end up having a severe engine problem, you end up way out in the lake, you can set off a flare and someone on shore will, will spot it and you should be A-OK. -okay. As regards uh, safety in a boat for somebody, a uh, total novice to the, the, to the, um, the going out in a boat itself, uh, there are a couple of things you need to be aware of. First of all, is where you're leaving from, where you're going to, have a plan of where you want to go fishing in that day. Take cognizance of the weather and what the weather is doing. And, and equally, uh, if you have people in a boat with you, make sure that they're aware that there has to be someone in charge. Make sure they sit in the centre of the boat and be aware of that they cannot move around the boat. Don't, do not ever stand up in a boat. Remain seated uh, as long as possible. You also must have a second means of propulsion on the boat, be it an electric engine that you have a battery for, or more usually, especially in Irish boats, lake boats, be a set of good oars. When, when driving a boat, you need to be aware of, first of all, other anglers that are around you. I mean, always give other boats a wide berth. You know, do not cross in front of another boat. So just be spatially aware and give other lake users lots of space as such. If Kevin were to fall in, firstly, he's on the engine, so he will have a kill cord on, on his hand. Ergo, he's gone into the lake. I cannot restart the engine. So I must be able to get on the oars and basically be able to get alongside Kevin. When I am, I can throw him this bag, which he can grab a hold of, and I can just pull him safely to shore. Um, should you not have a bag like this, every boat has what's called a painter. It's a rope out of the bow. That will also give you a piece of rope that you can throw to someone should they end up in the water. If you're on a body of water like the Corrib, it's, it's, it can get very rough very quickly. If you get into trouble, don't chance it. If you think, yeah, I, I don't know what to do, or you panic in a situation, what I suggest is get to the get to shelter or leave an island. Um, sometimes you may get a squall of wind that comes up before a shower. That may cause a lake to get very rough very quickly. If you feel you're in any sort of an issue or worried about where you're going, pull in, get shelter, and ring the appropriate services if you think you need that.